Hi. So we're going to be doing a makeup look using my new Level Up Cosmetics Vintage line. Now this line was inspired by vintage colors and, um, you know, nostalgic uh, makeup. So I'm going to show you guys what the collection consists of. Okay, so if you clicked on the video, you probably saw this palette. So I chose this really pretty pinup um, girl and her look for the palette. Here's a um, nude palette with some mattes, sheens, and a little bit of glitter. And this is a really good nude palette to have because you can have um, natural looks. You can even go extra glam because there is that sparkle and the sheen. And so um, this is a really good palette for, you know, vintage looks. So I've got that palette. I also have a set of beautiful baby pink wooden brushes. And they um, are very high quality. And of course, I had to put <laughs> Level Up Cosmetics on there. Very high quality. You get 15 of these brushes in the set. So you're going to get eye pens, I mean eye brushes, face brushes, foundation brushes, highlighter brushes, and the colors um, are very retro, baby pink, and gold. So we have that, very beautiful to display as well. Next thing we have is a very sleek mascara. And it is a very thin wand so that it lengthens and you can get every lash. It is a black lengthening mascara. And then of course we have the traditional retro liquid liner. And it is also waterproof, so it will not budge. Sasha loves this. Uh, she's been testing it out the most, and she's been experimenting and trying to do a cat eye at her young age. Yes, at her young age. So that is another item available. We also have the new lipstick collection. And I based the lipstick colors off of... Um, Robert Greene's um, The Art of Seduction. So I'm going to show you the colors um, right now. Let me get all the boxes out so that you can see the names of the colors. These are going to be um, the color boxes. Okay, so the first name I chose was The Natural. Now, this is a kind of seductress that is. Um, mentioned in Robert Greene's book. So the natural, you know, she's a natural seducer, you know. Uh, her personal character is just naturally seductive. So she doesn't have to work hard. So this color is the natural. And this is a very pretty light or, you know, color. It's an orangish brown, um, depending on your take on oranges brown. So this is, it could be like a oranges or reddish brown. So it's a very natural look. Um, I guess I could try it on for you guys so that you guys can see how this would look on my complexion. It's a very natural color on me, like almost a nude, but with a pop of color. Uh, sometimes you just need a natural lip, and it is a creamy matte. So it's moisturizing, but it has a matte finish. So this is the look. It's a very natural lip. If you don't, this is a great daytime color. Or if you just want to have a nude or a you know hint of spice in your natural color, this is a really good one. It is um, the natural. So the next color that we have. And this is one of my favorites. Um, let me make sure because I have two reds and I don't want to mix them up. Don't you just love the packaging? I made it vintage like that on purpose. 
because it is so pretty. Okay, so let me wipe this off. I had some lipstick remover. I mean, I had a remover, but I'll just get another one. So basically, excuse me. So get one last look at the natural. Y'all like my root nails? <laughs> I feel like Cruella. Okay, so that was the natural. Next is my favorite, which is I describe myself as Siren. I think I'm a cross between the Siren and the Rake. So the Siren is like just a very seductive um, woman. She just is irresistible. She plays games, you know. Typical Pisces, you know. Siren is a mermaid, so it is a beautiful, just bam in your face red. Like this red is like attention getter. Okay. When I put this on, I like have to take a double look in the mirror. If y'all are looking at this, this is my primer. <laughs> so I can do my eyeshadow. This red on my okay. The formula to this lipstick is amazing. I have not had any lipstick this pigmented, okay, ever, ever, ever. Out of all my Sephora and Ulta days and MAC days, I have never come across I'm sorry, maybe you have, you can tell me. A color this pigmented with one swipe. I mean, look at that. It just changed my entire face with just this. Oh my God, it's almost the same color. So it's probably not perfect because I'm doing this on the camera, but Siren, Siren, or is it the rake? Oh my gosh. I need to go make double sure that siren and the rake are. I think the rake is the darker. Yes, rake is the darker red. So this is siren. And this is the rake. The rake is a slightly darker cherry red. So, and I tried to choose all colors that were vintage and retro, like during the 50s, and um, just to get that old Hollywood flair. So all these colors are very much uh, nostalgic as well. So you're not walking around wearing something that, now the formula is way better, but um, you're not walking around with colors that weren't out back then. So. clean that up. Now let's try on, I don't want to try on another red because you won't see the difference. I'm going to try on Charmer. Where's Charmer? Now the Charmer is one who naturally charms and charms their way into your heart as a seductress. So this is Charmer. It's a very beautiful pink. Okay, I'm going to swatch it. Okay, so I'm gonna try this pink on. And it is a very beautiful, natural, pretty. It's a matte, creamy matte. This is also a really good formula. Oh God, I love putting this on because it just glides on, just like so creamy, but then you have this matte payoff. It's like you're getting all the moisturization back in your lips, but the finish of a matte. Okay, so this is the payoff. I put like two layers on, but if you don't like that, you know, lipsticky look, just take something and blot it. I'm gonna kiss the back of my hand. And then you just have this really pretty pink pout. So 
I like it. I should have put some of my Level Up Lip Plumper on before so that it would look more luscious. You can also pair this with gloss if you want it glossy. And um, you can get the Level Up Lip Plumper. And it comes with this bag. So basically you're getting a bag and a lip plumper. So it's a really good, uh, I'm trying to find that lip plumper right there. It's a really good deal if you're getting a whole cosmetic bag with the plumper. All right. I'm sorry about all the noise. I can't find the plumper right now. Probably somewhere in one of these drawers and I don't want to make so much. All right. So this is Charmer. And I will be doing a, you know, edited video so you guys can look at the product closely and in an artistic fashion. <laughs> So, you know, let me get this old, ugly cup of ugly makeup brushes out of your way that are all ugly. And let me put these over here for the display. Yes. Oh, and I forgot. Oh, I found my plumper. I forgot to show you lashes, baby, lashes. So you have a lash kit as well. So magnetic liner lashes. So isn't she beautiful? Um, here are our lashes. We have different types of lashes as well, and I will be linking those. Um, so if you like a more natural lash, a more dramatic lash, you know, we'll have choices this time. And it comes with this little applicator, and it comes in this really pretty box. That's this level of cosmetic. I was inspired to do the pinup look, and I was also inspired by Layla's, my beautiful daughter. I was inspired by um, how she looked when I did her makeover, and I thought she would make a pretty um, model, but she did not want to. She's too shy. So I said, Layla, let's make let's make her look like you a little bit. So that is inspired by my daughter Layla, and she loves it. So here is the Level Up Lip Plumper, and you could put this under it first, and then wipe it off, and or put this on top as a gloss because it is a gloss as well, a clear gloss so that you can look cute. All right, last color for lips. Ah, gotta get make sure all of that lip color is off, so that I can put on the last color, which is the rake. So the rake is a darker red, but it's not super dark. It is a darker red, more a cherry maraschino red. So this has that blue tone in it. So if you know that you like blue tones in your lipstick, this is the rake. This would be great. If you have a, um, yeah, see? And it's very velvety. This is how I would describe these lipstick textures. A velvet matte, I would say. And it just makes your lips just look so good. Oh God, I love this formula. This makes you wanna put on lipstick like over and over. I usually don't like trying on different lipsticks, but this feels so good, I do. <laughs> uh, it's weird, it's like a nice satisfact, satisfying feeling when you put this over your lip. All right. So this is the rake. It's slightly darker. I'll compare them on my hand so you can see the difference. That's great. That's the natural. That's trauma. Grabbed all the ones except the one I'm supposed to grab. Okay, and this, okay, so this is Rake, and this is Siren. So you see the difference. Okay, Siren is slightly oranger. Wait, is it? Yeah. Siren is slightly oranger. And then Rake is slightly pinker because of that blue. So, if you like orangey reds, go for Siren. If you like blue reds, go for the Rake, okay? 
it's a, it's very close to the same color, but just that hint of orange will do um, a little bit extra and brighten up your mouth. Um, and then that blue tone, it will really bring out your complexion. If you um, look, everyone looks good in blue tone, by the way, just so you know. You can't go wrong with the blue tone. Not everybody can pull off that orangey tone. So, um, yes. Look at these lashes, y'all. I can't wait to put these on. And I'm about to start my eye makeup routine now. So I'm going to smooth that out because, you know, that primer was a little... Um, <laughs> it needed to be blended a little bit. Okay. So we're going to start off with the natural nude pinup palette that's a name it. And I'm going to use my brushes for the first time. Oh my gosh, I hate dirty up brushes. But I have to because these are so cute and I just have to use them. Okay. <laughs> so I like to do, okay, so it has everything you need. I like to do a nude sweep. So I'm going to go into this beautiful um beige nude color and just sweep my entire lid. We're we're gonna go for a vintage look today, the old Hollywood look using the vintage collection by Level Up Cosmetics. And my new brushes. These brushes are so cute. Oh my gosh. You can display these on your vanity and just have this really pretty nostalgic look and y'all I put them in this really pretty glitter glass thing and it used to be a candle I burned all the candle out of it and then stuck some plastic in the bottom and put the brushes in there so now I have a new brush holder that's glam so I like to repurpose things as well when they're that pretty okay so next color is going to be um, a very slight transition color because in the vintage days you know um in the 50s and like the dorothy dandridge or you know uh marilyn monroe they had this really pretty eye shape um and it was very simple with nudes so i'm gonna just do a slight transition color right here now i have a darker one and then you know depending on your skin tone the transition color varies so um, for my skin tone, this is a good transition color because it just has that shadow and I'm using this blending brush for the transition. Um, I love this brush set because it has everything you need. So if you're just starting out learning how to use makeup and makeup brushes, this set will have most every brush that you will ever need. Until you become a pro, then you might have some brushes that do other things that I still don't know about. But there's 15 in that collection, so you're going to get a really good uh, amount of brushes. So I went in with that transition. Just slightly hit that, just to give it some depth, you see. All right. Now... The lid color, now you just take a flat brush with the lid. The, if you want, now they didn't do much sparkle in the retro days, but we are in 2020 and this is an inspired look. So I'm going to go in with some sparkle. Now I want a light sparkle. So I'm going to go for this pretty golden, white gold, oh, it's like white golden light gold and just tap it on there this is it's very pigmented you guys so uh especially if you uh have primer and the right brush you don't swipe uh, this on if you want the pigment to come off really nice you pat it on pat 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 you see how pretty that is yes darling I feel like so vintage and like um, old glam Hollywood, you know, uh, you, can put, you can put your uh, radio on, which is something also that I'm selling. It's a really pretty wireless pink or baby blue retro looking 
a Bluetooth speaker and oops, I went to the wrong color. And it's um, also available. Um, I will sell a set of cosmetics for the vintage collection that will include that speaker. If you don't want the speaker, I'll also include a set that doesn't have the speaker. But I just think it's really cute to have an old, like cute vintage speaker. It's, it's very similar to this one, very similar. And I'm gonna show you guys probably in another video. But it would be cool just to have the little, you know, music playing in the background and just doing your makeup and whatnot. Okay, so I've had it that color. Now I need the crease color. So here is your brush for the crease color. And I'm gonna go in for this really chocolate brown. There is a darker brown, it has a little glitter in it. I'll give you a little spice. This one has a little glitter too. This one has more. So I'm going, it's not heavily glittery. It just has like a little, little touch, a little gleam. So I'm gonna go in like this. And if you have hooded lids, like my daughter Layla, then you would work more with your lower lid or you know, you can find a tutorial for um, hooded lids. But if you ladies have, you know, the crease, this is your crease color. And it can also, um, I'm gonna blend a little bit. Okay. So there are, you know, uh, retro makeup, vintage makeup tutorials all over YouTube. And if you just want, you know, different looks, go check out a few. Um, and get inspired, you know, or go and look at old Hollywood actresses or vintage photos from that era. Maybe your grandmother, mother, you know, have photos in the family album that you can kind of look through and see how your, you know, your mom and grandma and aunts, great aunts or whatever, wore their makeup. And then you can say, oh, that's cute. Or you can say, oh, you had no talent in makeup, did you? <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and just blend that a little bit. Now, I'm gonna blend this color up a little bit, just slightly, just so that I don't have this harsh line. I'm gonna blend it up toward the top of my brow area, just a little bit, because we're trying to create this look okay vintage look now for your highlight color so you're gonna want a um oh and for those of you who are wondering yes there is a brow brush in there for your eyebrows or and then there's a you know another slanted brush and then there's a small brush as well so you're getting those and then there's also another fatter flat brush <laughs> Um, then there's a fat blending brush. So, or this could be like concealer or powder. There's also a really pretty concealer brush, blush brush, or foundation brush, um, powder brush or blush brush, whatever you want to call that. Um, this could be a contour brush. I would use it for contouring. And then, of course, you have your fan brush for highlight. So I'm going to be using that highlighter, even though they didn't really use highlight in the, in the 50s. I'm going to use a little bit because we were in 2020. Now for this highlight color. Okay, so I'm going to go into this highlight color right here. This is a matte highlight color. You could easily go back into that gold and do a highlight as well. But I want to use, it's a creamy white color on the top and just stay true to the uh, the era, kind of. And a lot of ladies would um, have, like if they did want a sheen back in the old, um, old vintage times, the old 50 days, they would use Vaseline. You know, if they wanted like a highlight or a, sh a shiny eyeshadow, they would dot, you know, petroleum jelly 
or Vaseline on their lids and on their cheeks to give them that healthy, youthful glow, which I naturally have. You see? Um, so this is the, uh, oh, I need to blend. It's just a little tad bit more right here. I need to blend that up a little bit more. So I have that look, you know. Um, maybe I'm gonna take this clean blending brush that has nothing on it, and I'm just gonna blend this a little bit more. Just, yeah, it's not matches. All right. It's also the lighting. The lighting is darker on this side. So. Y'all like it so far? Thank you. So I'm gonna also swatch these colors for you. I know you're curious, so I'm gonna go ahead and swatch. So this is that darkest color. It's almost a dark chocolate brown with gold glitter. Um, I'm go to the other brown color right there. I'll go next to it and show you how dark that is. So, um, that is that color. Now I'm going to the pretty gold. Ooh, look at that. Like butter, baby. Look at that. Ooh, that could be a highlighter right there. Hey, I'm going to go into this bronzy color. And so that's a darker bronzy color. It's very shimmery as well. These are very good on darker skin tones. And they work on any skin tone, but the pigment payoff is very nice on darker skin. I'm going to go into this pretty light gold. And um, my hand is kind of wet. I'm not wet. Let me. I'm going to show you guys. There you go. It's a lighter color. And I'm going to go into this um, nude. And just, you know, it's just a new color. Um, then the white. Okay, so it's just white. Um, hold on. It's just a white mat. Okay, so the, let me wipe my fingers. The next color is this middle color, which is what I swiped over my entire lid. No, it's, it, no that was my transition color. This is, this is what I use for my transition color. So it's a, ooh, it's a tan, very cute, um, natural tan color. And then this is the last one. And I'll swipe it here. So it is a taupe, like a taupey tan color. It's almost the same color as my skin, so I'll do it on my hand right here. So you guys can see it is a, I would say it's almost a, light um, tan. So, wipe all that out. Very good nude palette. All right, now we gotta get into <laughs> our liner. So this is waterproof. So um, it is one of the old style <laughs> liners with the top. And Sasha says she's prefer she prefers this right over the pins because she has more control over the angles. So we're gonna do a little nice cat eye with this. And yes. Oh Sasha's been playing in this too much. Okay. I hope she didn't get anything in there. Okay, so. See how easy that is with this stick? And it's so easy to get close to that lash line because this is so thin and you can just go in strokes. So if you have trouble working with liquid liner, try one of these kinds because you can literally just get straight on that lash line. If you don't like a thick, heavy liner, and just dot with this. Or if you like dramatic like you, you know I do. Then you can go overboard and keep keep drawing in. You can add to it, which is um, which is what I'm gonna do. Um, so you ladies who like the dramatic look can also see how this works. Um. So yes, a beautiful cat eye. Let's 
classic vintage and a very, very pretty. See? Um, I want to bring the wing out a little bit more because if I put my lashes on, I don't want that wing to disappear under those lashes. So I'm going to bring it out just a tad bit and bring it in. So remember, this is waterproof, so if you sweat, if you are out in a humid climate, if you rub your eye, you got to rub it quick if you mess up <laughs> with just like a, you know, makeup wipe. It will stay put all day, literally. It will not budge. And that's why I got this. Because when you do a cat eye, I mean, you don't want it to be all smeared all, all over your face. You want it to just be very bold and just there for the rest of the day. And you can get that sharp point on it because this has a sharp point. <laughs> there you go. And we have the cat eye. And I love this dark color and it just really stands out. On your skin tone, it's a very dark black. So, I'm gonna go ahead, go ahead and get the other side. See the angle. It's a different angle. All right. I love doing liner. It's like one of the funnest things for me, even though I don't do it perfectly. It's fun to keep trying <laughs> and getting good good at it or improving at it. How about that? It's fun. Okay, so after I do this, I have to go walk around the mall looking like this, but I, I don't mind because you know people like to look at you know pretty makeup. <laughs> To go to the mall and look for Layla a dress because we were supposed to do that last week, but she didn't see anything she liked. Now her dance is tomorrow, and now I have to rush to find her something. And I'm going to be sending her photos while she's at school, <laughs> saying yes or no. And if she doesn't see anything, I have to take her up there after school so she can look for herself. But she was going to get her nails done, so we we're trying to skip going to the mall after school and I would just go get the dress. Hopefully this works out for us. Okay, so ooh, I've, I'm overdrawn. I've gone Cruella de Vil over here. Hold on. I've got to take this off. I've overdrawn my my cat out. I mean, it's cute. Like if you want that any wine house, go ahead. But uh, we're trying to stay true to the era. So let me let me take it down a notch. Take it down a notch. So yeah, it was too thick right there. And so no man. All right, now I gotta go back to my where's my flat brush? I gotta go to my flat brush and put a little bit more of that. Wait, did I use that? Yeah, I gotta use this color. Gotta do it from above so I don't get liner in it. Yeah. Oh, I need to use a mirror while I'm here. Okay, that's cute. Okay, now we can begin to fix it. I'm gonna be using my little mirror so I don't mess it up. That's why I messed up when looking at the camera. Or was I looking at the mirror? I don't know. I'm blaming the camera. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to get it to match on both sides. I'm not trying to fill in that space right here. Ooh, I kind of like this side better. But since I'm going to be doing lashes, I need to bring it out a little bit more. A little bit more. I need to bring it out. A little bit more. Y'all will see when I put the lashes on because they're so dramatic. 
I need it. I need more wing. Okay. This will be good. This will be good. Thank you. Thank you. Now for my skittle. My skittle. Skittle. Where's your skittle? Where's your skittle? Where's your skittle? Why do I lose you? How did I lose you? Yeah, you know, that happens because I have so much stuff up here. And I wanted to show you guys that beautiful uh, tube. But it looks like it doesn't want for you to see it. And you can have to search for it. Because I know. Oh. Duh. So we're going to be using the Level Up Cosmetics Vintage Collection Mascara in black. And this lengthens your eyelash. I love this for my bottom lashes as well. Uh, it's also waterproof. So when you cry, when you fake cry, to get your way, you won't have any issue. You just still look pretty, fake crying. You know? So I'm gonna put that on before I do my lash. But I need to get that bottom lash line because that will really set this look off. Get that lash. See how it's getting all of them individual? And just do a few coats if you like extra. Um, if you really want to stand out. But this is a perfect brush to get those little bitty lashes that are missed. Uh, that's why I love these type of brushes. And get all the lashes up in here. I do top and bottom. Just to give it extra layers. Okay, so you can stop there if you don't like lashes. And you'll be fine. <laughs> so, that is the vintage mascara. So now, yes, we're going to be very extra today. And we're going to go in for these magnetic lashes. And they, they have this really nice magnet strip so that it's easy to stick back on after you have taken them off the store. And it comes with this liner. So all you do is paint this liner close to your lash line, and then you will stick, you will stick the, uh, I'm not gonna use the applicator because I don't want to use it. You will stick the lash on while this is still wet, okay? So I'm just basically going close as I can to the lash line and all the way to the ends. And I put a little bit as well on the lash just at the top part. And while it's still wet, I grab my lash. And you see the band? You just stick it right, you stick that band right on the magnet. And these are easier than the other ones that I have as well. These are much easier. And if you want, um, yeah, if the, the curve on this just lays right and see, when you look this way, they go out. You don't have like this spider look, but you have this lash look because you set them right there on your lash and they're more natural. You can curl if you like, but um, I like this look because it's like, you know, it's more natural, but it's still long when you go to the side. And look, I'll show you what it looks like up close so you can decide how you want to lay your lash. You can scoot it over, lay it to the side, pop it up like this. If you like that wide-eyed look, and there you go. Um, you can go over it to hide the band if you want, but you really don't have to because it's not that noticeable with the liner again. But I'm not going to do that because it's not noticeable. Um, so going for the next lash. And that's how easy it is, you just drop it. So if you have problems with lashes, ladies, you need this because this it makes it that easy. So I'm just gonna paint 
one layer. And these work. Oh, I love these. Okay, like I've tried different magnetic lashes. By far, these are the best I've tried. Okay, that's why I wanted to give them to y'all because y'all deserve the best. 